the man with the gray shirt and exposed gums. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome to my channel. My name is Lenin. What is happening? What is happening? I have been super busy. I miss a few trailers. I have people working all over the house. I'm in the process of remodeling our kitchen, removing and building a new retaining wall. And I haven't had the time to sit down to check YouTube, to watch a movie or a series, or to read a book. But you don't read. Oh, shut up. Just to give you an idea of how busy I am, I just find out today, April 25th, that O.J. Simpson died from cancer, and that happened two weeks ago. I didn't even know that O.J. Simpson had cancer, but you know, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> anyway, today I will be reacting to a sketch from Saturday Night Live that was sent to me by one of my friends a few days ago. Uh, I don't watch Saturday Night Live, so I don't have a clue to what this video is going to be about besides that it's a Saturday Night Live uh, sketch about Beavis and Butthead, and that's it. So without further ado, let's begin with this sketch reaction. No. <laughs> If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this one. Thank you, and let's get started with this reaction. Now. News Nation. Welcome to News Nation, I'm Bobby Moore. In tonight's live stream town hall, we'll discuss the potential power and pitfalls of the coming AI revolution. You won't want to miss this. I'm joined by MIT Dean of Technology, Professor Norman Hemming. Thank you, Bobby. Well, let's get into it. This guy doesn't get old at all. This guy looks like he's in his uh, 20s and he's like 40, maybe 50. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that he's in his 40s, maybe 50s. Yeah, since li I'm like this, I, I seen this guy doing the Good Burger movie. I forgot the name of the movie. They made a sequel. I need to see that movie. Anyways, let's continue with this. Do it. Professor, you've been very outspoken about the threat AI poses. Can you explain your stance to the Gossman? average American? <laughs> his face! Look at his face! His face! <laughs> awesome. I love it. Woo! I already know where this is going. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Can you explain your stance on AI to the average American? Uh, certainly. Um, <laughs> to be He's clear, I'm not anti-AI. I just Beavis uh, believe, <laughs> I believe AI needs to be properly regulated. I'm sorry. Professor, is there a problem? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. There's a gentleman in your audience who looks strikingly similar to Beavis <laughs> from the cartoon Beavis and Butthead. It's just a little distracting. I'm not familiar with that cartoon, <laughs> but would it help if he moved seats? Yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea. Uh, it's the gentleman in the blue shirt and blonde pompadour. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> Do you mind moving? <laughs> she just broke character. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. I'm sorry? Me? You're talking about me? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm sorry. What? Yes, yeah, can you move the seats? <laughs> uh, okay. Sure, I'm sorry. I just, I've that never guy on the side. heard of that. That guy, the black guy, he looks like one of the Wyan's uh, brothers. Mar Marlon Bro Wyan. <laughs> Uh, that cartoon character. <laughs> and you really never watched Beavis and Butthead when you were a teenager? 
Uh, no, I was pretty, so I was going to parties and hooking up. <laughs> now, Professor, if AI is left unregulated, what is your worst case scenario? Uh, well, in simplest terms, it becomes so intelligent that it deems humans unnecessary and kills us all. <laughs> but human beings created the AI. Can't we just program it to not do that? Well, it depends. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that guy, what? whoever that guy is, he looks uncanny. <laughs> he looks exactly like butthead. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> he smiled. <laughs> I think that's a valid question. Oh. No. Now there's a gentleman behind you that looks like butthead. <laughs> Professor, just because our audience members aren't as informed on the issue as you doesn't make them buttheads. <laughs> butthead from the cartoon. He beavers his friends. I'd really like to move on and discuss AI, so would you like him to move? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The man with the gray shirt and exposed gums. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I'm just here to learn about AI. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, we got a real question for Max. At Van Witch Dynasty, at Max Cornholio need TV. Cornholio! No, no, see, that's did somebody told it. That's a reference to the cartoon. Cornholio was Beavis' alter ego. Alter ego? He eats the sugar and become Cornholio. Cornholio? Yeah. See. Let's move on to our audience questions, starting with Patricia the, Faulkner. I don't know how the audience can keep it in a, a straight face. I cannot. If I'm there, I'll be laughing like crazy. Uh, yes, right here. <laughs> they put that together. You put it right next to each other. Look, they even sitting like they do on the show. You two really don't know that you look like bitches and buttheads. <laughs> like someone from TV, but it's just, maybe it's this famous person, I don't know. I don't watch much television. I have an incredibly busy life. Yeah, I'm very busy too. And this, is, this is honestly the first time I've ever heard that I look like this butthead person. So. Oh boy, for oh those boy. just tuning in, this is News Nation, not the Cartoon Network. <laughs> And Miss Faulkner, go ahead. Um, yes, Professor. <laughs> I'm a speech therapist and I use AI software every day. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm not He's like, oh. He's like wait, whatever. I don't give a F anymore about the AI. Let's talk about this. <laughs> I don't know this gentleman. <laughs> you don't know each other? No. no. Um, hi, I'm Dean. I'm Dean. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, let's take a break. <laughs> I need a break. Let's speak with some gentlemen from Texas who lost their jobs to AI. Why? Sure they Marlon Wyatt is sitting back there. The, the, the king of the, the, king of the hill. <laughs> the king of the hill. Stop 
this. Look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. Dry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. <sighs> oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. That was crazy. Like I said before, at the beginning of this video, I don't watch Saturday Night Live that much. I have seen a few sketches, and this one by far is one of the best sketches that I have seen from Saturday Night Live. Ryan Gosling looks very much like Beavis, but the other guy who plays Butthead, <laughs> oh my God. I don't know who the actor is, but Damn, that he looks exactly like Butthead. Uncanny. I love it. The lady, the interviewer, I'm 100% sure that she didn't know what they both looked like before the sketch started. My hypothesis is that when they were doing the rehearsal, the makeup department did not show her the, their full makeup or they didn't have the makeup done yet. That happened all the time in movies and series. That's why, probably why she broke character. And that's why you see her reaction is an honest reaction to uh, butthead uh, appearance. I love it. Fantastic. It was awesome. I was laughing like, woohoo, yeah! <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. But anyways, that's it for this video reaction. If you enjoyed my reaction to Beavis and Butthead Saturday Night Live sketch, don't forget to hit the like button to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time on another episode of Cinema Hustle. See ya.